Welcome back everyone. In today's video, it's the 21st of January 2024 and according to Google, 80% of us have given up on our New Year's resolutions. And so today I wanted to talk about the biggest factor. You can see I'm here in my home gym and if you've seen any videos, you'll see that I built this home gym, but you'll see that I'm going to talk through the biggest factor in sticking to your New Year's resolutions in 2024, particularly if you're a few weeks in, you've signed up to a new gym, you've got some new membership, your diet's fallen off a little bit, you've got a bit bored of your training, you've missed a couple of workouts. This is the biggest factor without a shadow of a doubt. And it's the same sort of thing that we talk about when we want to reduce a habit that isn't serving us. For example, if we are a smoker or if we're spending too much time on social media, exactly the same principle applies. And it is friction. And that is the amount of friction that exists between you achieving your goal, um, the higher it is, the more likely you aren't going to succeed. And so I'm very fortunate here, you know, you, you, can, you can take a look around and it's not, it's not got everything, you know, it's, it's not got everything, but, and it's a bit messy, but it's got everything that I need to, um, to work out and stay in good shape. And so the friction now, it's a Sunday afternoon between me going to the gym and actually me doing the workout is very, very minimal. I just need to walk through that door, come in the gym. And so try and think of a way, not that you can go to, you know, the local gym, the Nuffield, the David Lloyd, the gym group, whatever it is that's down the road, you've got to get in your car, it's freezing cold. Think of a way that you can reduce the friction. So over here, you can see down here, I have resistance bands and I bought them from, is it RDX? I bought them from RDX um, and they go up to something like 150 pounds worth of resistance. And so when I first got them, I wanted to get a cable machine and I thought, well, I don't really have the space and it was really expensive. So I got them and then I did some research that says the effect of resistance training using the bands is the same. Your body doesn't know whether it's a muscle, a cable, a weight or whatever. It just knows that there's a certain level of resistance. And so that's the first thing. We want to reduce the level of friction between us and exercise. So one way to do that, for example, is to do running. All you need to do is put a pair of trainers on, go out and run. But you might have additional friction there because it's cold, it's wet, it's windy. So you might also say, well, I don't have the weights at home. I don't have what I need at home. You don't need a lot of equipment. This is a big, big uh, myth within weightlifting. I got in incredible shape with a set of dumbbells. I had a little bit more of barbell and some weights. But even if I didn't, before that, when I was at university, I used to follow a guy called Ross Inama or Ross Training. And I bought a book of his. It was like 20 pounds before like all the internet. I had all this stuff on and I just followed these body weight exercises and I got an amazing, amazing shape. So that's the first thing that we've got to consider, the level of friction between you getting and starting your goal. And the second thing is, and James Smith, I quite like James Smith, he talks about this. What can you do today that you visualize that you can do for the rest of your life? And so quite often when we're talking about achieving our goals and, and, and trying to stay fit, we go out and we say, right, I'm going to do this workout routine. I'm going to do five, six days a week training. But if you can't visualize that you're going to be doing five or six days worth of training every single day for the rest of the year, then don't, don't set yourself up to fail because when you miss one day, it's going to have a negative impact. Then you miss another day and then it just all goes to shit from there. So what we need to do is we need to set ourselves realistic goals. And if you really, really haven't been training for a long time and you want to get back into it, what about just going to the gym one day a week? Start there. 52 times a year. And so set yourself incremental goals, incremental targets, reduce the friction in whatever way that can be. It might be that you're not weightlifting. It might be that you're running. It might be that you're just going out walking. And that way you can maximize the chance that you're going to sustain and achieve your fitness goals throughout the year. So if it's the 21st of January now and you're thinking, I've fallen off the wagon. Here's, here's the thing that I want you to do next week. Think about what one thing can I do next week to get me back into fitness, get me back into um, doing it? And it might not be five days a week. It might just be one day a week. But ask yourself the question, can I sustain this for a long period of time and can I reduce the friction anymore? 
Hope you enjoyed that, guys, and it gives you a little bit of motivation to spur you on for the rest of January. It's gloomy, it's grey outside. If you like the video and you like health, fitness-related tips, then don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in next week's.